Guys, I'm back to the channel. A quick tip on these well tanks. If you're having one put in or you put one in, uh, they come pre-charged from the factory with 25 PSI. In mine's case, it came pre-charged at 30. They want you to keep the pressure in this tank at two PSI below your starting pump pressure. So take a look at your um, pressure switch. And in my case, some of them are marked, some of them aren't. In my case, this is a 4060 pressure switch, which means that the kick on pressure is 40 PSI, the kick off pressure 60, which means that this tank needs to be filled up to 38 PSI. Right now, it's only a 30. Right way to do this, you can see how wiggly this tank is right here. You can tell that it's empty. Right way to do this is to shut off your well, pull your breaker, run your water out of your tank, which means if you have a pressure switch, which if you don't have one, I recommend installing one, run the water out of the tank, water your plants, fill it up with something, uh, whatever you gotta do. You wanna do this empty. So the tank must be empty first before you fill it. So I'm gonna fill this to 38. Okay, we're up to pressure. I just wanted to show the port uh, where I'm actually filling this up at. It's on the very top of the tank offset to the left side on mine. Okay, so now I can repressurize with the well. So all this is, if you guys don't know, got a little friend in here. Get out of there, buddy. Get. <laughs> uh, this is the a pull breaker. That's what I call them. They basically shuts the, that's like an emergency shutdown for your well. You can use the breakers inside the panel or you can use one of these little, um, switches so if you got one of these on the side of your house and you know where it goes to if it's your well you can use that to disconnect the well uh, we got a little green guy over here now look at this guy really cool all right so that's pressurizing tanks filling up with water you can hear it there's a pressure switch running and that's how you pressurize a well tank a well pressure tank um, it's really that easy just use a compressor um, follow your manufacturer's specs this A.O. Smith, like I said, happens to be uh, two PSI under start pressure. So I really hope this helps you guys out and your uh, well tank. And if you haven't checked your pressure in yours, maybe it's a good time to check it, uh, prevent premature wear and maintain consistent pressure. So thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Remember to thumbs up. Please subscribe. I'm trying to get to 100,000 and I'll get you in the next video. Later.